Are you looking for a way to keep your WordPress pages or posts private and password protected? In this video, you will learn two ways to easily create password protected pages or posts in WordPress. Let's head over to my demo site and I'll show you how. WordPress comes with a built-in password protection feature. It requires you to protect your pages individually while editing content or by using the quick edit feature found in the WordPress dashboard. Once enabled, anyone viewing your password protected pages or posts will be presented with a message to enter a password that looks like this. Note that the title of the post or page will still be visible as well as the category and publisher if these are enabled for your WordPress theme. This first method will allow you to password protect both WordPress pages or posts from the front end of your website. Go ahead and click on edit page from the top navigation to open up the editor. Over on the right-hand side of the page, there is an option called status and visibility. Go ahead and click on that drill down and it opens up another option called visibility. Now, if you don't see either of these, up here in the right-hand corner is a gear icon. Go ahead and click on that to open up the settings and make sure that you have page selected. Now you should be able to see status and visibility as well as visibility. And to the right of visibility, you can see that my page is currently set to public. In older versions of WordPress, you might also see an edit link here. Go ahead and click on public. For post visibility, you'll see three options, public, private, or password protected. By default, WordPress pages are set to public, meaning that anyone can view them. A private page is only visible to site admins and editors and password protected pages or posts are protected with the password that you will choose. And only those who you give the password to can view this post or page. Go ahead and enter a secure password. And at the top of the page, go ahead and click on update or publish to save your changes. From the front end of our site, we will now need to enter our password to view the page. If you enter your password, you'll now be able to see the hidden content. The next method allows us to password protect a page or post from the back end of our website. Let's head over to our dashboard. And just like the previous method, this method works with either pages or posts. Let's go to pages. The first page that we password protected now has this little notification that says password protected. If you click on quick edit, you can see the password that we chose. And here I can update this password if I wish. Let's choose another page and click quick edit. Here I can enter a password and click on update or publish. Now let's view this new password protected page and enter your password. And you can now see the contents of your page. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit that like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Bye for now.